Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Just before we start the video, I just want to let you know that I'm very close to 200 subscribers. I'm about 10 away. So to get that push this week would be great. It could happen this week or next week, I think. So 200 subs is just around the corner. Thank you for all the support. And hopefully we hit it very soon. And there will be a special video coming out for 200 subs. Probably a Q&A or something like that. But um, yeah, I want to try and do something for it just to commemorate um, a milestone. So that's um, hopefully something that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. Uh, as for today's video, we've got two games. Roma at home is going to be difficult. And Genoa away from home. Uh, last episode was a 3-0 defeat. Last episode was a 3-0 defeat against Kievo. So not a great start. But off screen, we haven't been doing too badly. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens in a new episode of Parma from the Ashes. So as you can see from the Syria table, it's nice to be able to say Syria now, it's good to be here. Uh, as you can see, we're in 11th place, which is mid-table, which is absolutely fantastic. As I said last time, we're expected to uh, battle to avoid relegation. So if we get relegated, that's not going to be the end of our job. It might be the end of our save because Serie B, I'm done with that and I don't want to do any more in that. So um, yeah, as long as we stay up, then that'll be fine. That's just what I want to do. But at the moment, we're in 11th. Two wins, one draw, and two defeats isn't bad at all, but I'd like to try and get some uh, more points on the road because we lost uh, both of our away games, I believe, or we failed to win away from home because I think we got a draw in one of them. So uh, four games were played off screen. As you can see, there's two wins. Uh, there was a draw away against Atalanta and we lost to Udinese, but that's really good. I'm really happy with those results. Let's go over them in some more detail. So the 3-2 win against Cagliari it was just really good because uh, everyone lost the game and everyone just played really, really well. Um, Mr. Vries uh, didn't play too badly, but all my, all, I made all three changes at the end just because everyone was okay. Guys were in the 60s, but there wasn't anyone that really needed to come off and everyone was playing well apart from the Vries at left back, who's been a bit um, disappointing since he signed. But this is a really good performance. Polisano with uh, our first goal in 15th minute, so defender scoring goals, which is always nice to see. Uh, Enrique's Angelo Enrique's uh, got equalised for Cagliari. Who did he used to play for? Um, he used to play for like a Premier League team, like United or something. He was at Man United. He never played for them, and then went on loan to Wigan, where he played four games and scored one goal. So he has been in the Premier League, just not very much. Uh, Cherry then scored in the 36th minute to uh, make it 2-1, and then we made it 3-1 through uh, Galliano in the second half. Uh, Cagliari got a goal back in the 79th minute, Henriquez with his second of the game. Uh, they played almost the whole game of 10 men as well. Zampano with a, uh, a fifth minute red card for a double footed challenge on, I believe it was Petkov, but um, I'm not entirely sure about that. Possession and was uh, a bit in our favour, and shots were more or less the same. We just had, uh, they had a few more on target. We outscored them, so three points there. And we got a win, so that's very nice. Against Atalanta, uh, a 1-1 draw, so a point picked up away from home is always nice to see. Uh, and again, everyone did really well in the last of the game, so I'm not too bothered about this at all. Geraldo came in at left back after poor performances from uh, De Vries. And um, yes, yeah, Salsa got a goal here, so the, the other centre-back scoring after Polisano's goal in the previous game. And Salsa is getting better and better. He's scoring goals as well. I mean, I'm, I'm loving the progression of this guy. He's, he's going to be so, so good. I know he is. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, and then, yeah, Atlanta got an equaliser just before how there. God, my talk is awful today. Just before half hour, Anthony Pern over that goal. Uh, and again, they had a bit more of the ball and a few more shots, shots than us. But um, a draw is good, you know, picking up picking up points on the road is going to be the key to staying up this season, I think. And there's some, a few more new signings in, the, in it. Goodness sake, what is wrong with me today? There's a few more signings in there as well. Um, I've signed a couple more players because we were told that um, there's two players that wanted the side strengthened um, in the summer and they don't feel that was achieved. So we have gone out and made more signings. That now has been achieved because I went into squad uh, promises and it says that that has been achieved. So that's always good. And then we beat the champions. Napoli won Serie A last season after you know some disappointing... Um, Disappointing performances from other teams. Juventus finished third last season, I believe. 
But Napoli won. They're champions, and we beat them 1-0. Ivela Petkov with the only goal in this game, and it was it was really nice. I'm not going to show it to you just because I want to try and get to games as quickly as I can. But Petkov with the goal against the against the champions is very nice, and a few players you can recognise there. So six years on, they've still got guys like Hamzik um, and Mamana in goal, in goal, Mamana in defence. Um, because like Higuain came on, and yeah, Insigne, Minir, lots of names that you recognise there. But yeah, a 1-0 win at home against Napoli, the champions is nice. Unfortunately, we did suffer defeat against Udinese, but yeah, that's, I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, Bleve pretty much at fault for the goal, or very much at fault, had a poor game. Brotonia had a bad game with a 6.5. Probably playing him as a wrong right. He was playing. He plays as a central midfielder on support. And I don't use central midfielders that often. Not since our first season where we had Miglietta, really, did I do that. So, um, probably not the wise decision there. Uh, but, yeah, no, not too bad. Um, we didn't really have a lot of shots in this game either. So, it was rather disappointing, actually. We just didn't have control of the game at all. We're never really in it. And, um, yeah, Udinese just played really, really well. Perez with their goal. It was fairly, on, fairly early on as well, 16th minute. I'd take a couple of breaths there because I don't know what was wrong with my talking there. I was just slurring all over the place. I haven't had a drink or anything, I swear. Um, but yeah, uh, so we made a few more signings in the summer and uh, before deadline day, in fact, I mean three signings on deadline day, or well, they were all confirmed. I've been in discussions with them for some time, but uh, we actually confirmed some signings on deadline day. We've got three new players here. So we'll start off with uh, Claude Adjapong, uh, Ghanaian a right back who used to play for Sassuolo and now he's joined us. So, uh, Newlands, I think, is going to be sort of a bit outclassed in this league. I don't think it's going to be good enough anymore. So, we will still give him as much um, games as, we, as many games as we can because he has been fantastic in the past. But Ajapong will be um, his competition, I guess. I guess he will be. He is a first team player. So, it will just be seeing which one's better and whoever's on good form will be the one that plays. It's as simple as that. But Ajapong looks really good. Some of his mentals are really nice decisions and uh, teamwork stand out. Very solid technically and very solid physically as well. Lots of uh, 13s and 14s in there. So um, I think we've got a great right back here. Uh, only 23 as well. So he has got um, he has got room to grow. I don't think his potential is that great like for the future. But at the moment, I think he's great. And he's 23. So plenty of years to come from him. Uh, Luca Ruffini was signed from Cittadella for £525,000. He's a, a left winger. I know we got a lot of those. But I thought we'll bring Ruffini in because he's a former Palmer player. And he's homegrown at Palmer. So, um, th yeah, the reason for that is just to try and get the homegrown players ratio up. And that's why I've signed him. But he looks really nice. He's 24. His current ability is only two star. But he's got potential. So, if we play him, then that will certainly improve. Um, few, yeah, team works good. Good work rate. Decent first touch. Um, you know, again, physically he's all right. He's got a fair bit of pace. So, yeah, I think he looks okay. And so far, um, he's made one appearance for us. Got a 6.7, but... Hopefully we'll see a bit more of him in the future, Rafini. We'll have to see. And lastly, I've got a uh, backup goalkeeper for um, for Beleve. This is Alessandro Turin. Uh, he's uh, 24. Hasn't been capped at all. Signed him from uh, Provercelli. Only £45,500. I was looking at some younger options in goal, but they're a bit too pricey for my liking. So Turin is a nice, cheap backup goalkeeper. We will probably never play him because Beleve is first choice and it's not often that goalkeepers get injured or suspended so uh, Turin is going to be back up and he will only play if he absolutely has to but apart from that just a couple of people loaned out like uh, Lestani and that's it really so um yeah let's go through uh let's go into some games now actually there's nothing to talk about first game is at home against Roma who at the moment are in uh, second place and uh they've got Ningolan still Florenzi uh, let's have a look at some of them, some of their other players um who wants to recognise here? Um, you might recognise some names here. I'm not that familiar with foreign leagues, so some of these I won't really know. Manolis is a name I recognise. Uh, Ponce, I think I kind of recognise him from a previous save, maybe. I think from my uh, Lazio save last year. Um, Pastore, of course. Uh, 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 Nacho uh, plays for them. Former Man City player, of course. Didn't know the best of careers at Man City, as you can see there. He's been doing really well for him in their real life. Went to Australia and destroyed the competition in Australia. 18 goals for Western Sydney Wanderers. So that's interesting. He's gone there and done that. Pjanic still here at, at the age of 31. Of course, in real life, he's just signed for Juventus for £29 million. But that's a long career at Roma. He's been there for over 10 years now. Shut up. I think I've interrupted because Iceland have scored. And I said Portugal would do well. They're my sweepstake team. 
I think Iceland might have scored. And of course, Nengerland there as well, who, um, yeah, plays for Belgium, who didn't do too well yesterday, did they? Well, I say their manager didn't do well. Not the right pick for them, I don't think. Uh, let's get into some football anyway. Okay, so we do have a clean bill of health, which is uh, good to see. Uh, I am going to uh, start Selva. We haven't seen Selva yet because he was injured on international duty for, I think, the fifth time, which is really annoying. But um, Selva, he's going to... Actually, no, he's not going to start. I just noticed his uh, conditioning isn't that, isn't that great. So we'll start with Galliano. I think the rest of this will keep as it is. Uh, actually, no. Um, we'll swap Koulibaly for Salsa because Koulibaly has been a bit poor, really, since we signed him in uh, January last season. So uh, this is the team we're going to go with. Marco Bleve in goal. The back four of Giraldo, Polisano, Salsa and Newlands. Petkoff, Minale, Emmers and Berzossi in midfield. And the strike partnership of Cherry and Galliano, who needs to find more goals. Only three goals between them so far. We, I know we've had two goals come from uh, defence. But let's try and get some goals from you know the strikers and maybe the midfielders as well. I know Petkoff got a goal as well. But we'll see how we do. Um, we're against Roma, who are very good. So I'm going to start off on defensive. And... I'm uh, Defensive line isn't normal, that's fine. I think we'll leave all this as it is. We're going to clear the ball to the flanks. We're just going to try and keep the ball, really. So let's give it a go. Keep the ball, sit back a bit, and try and get him on the break, I guess. So I mentioned my reasons for signing Rafini, and um, Brotonio really is the same thing. We didn't really need him. It's just that he was a former Palmer player. Uh, and, um, yeah, I've gone with the whole underdog thing. He's a former Palmer player, and I just signed him, really, just to get up the... Um, the uh, homegrown players thing. So I think we do now have four homegrown players, which is good. As uh, Roma put in an early corner here, is it G. Mere? I think I was the first initial, actually, Mere, I'm going to call him. Korich and Mere again here. Selnayas to Mass. Nangolan on the ball finds Oswald. And Florenzi with a shot, and that didn't take long at all. That's 1 0. And we're down. <laughs> We're down, well, we were 11th anyway, but we're, apparently we're down to 11th now. And with less than two minutes played, Roma are ahead. We'll see the goal again. It was uh, Nengolan with a, a cheeky back heel and then Osbolt with the through ball to Florenzi who just stopped himself to keep himself on side. And it was a nice finish to be fair, but he had all the space in the world. And that is 1-0 to Roma. Another corner here. Florenzi puts it in. It's a header by Berzotti, but uh, Florenzi wins it back. And Manolas with a shot, no, it was a defect, deflected shot rather. Another corner now. It's uh, a poor one. Manala um, heads it out of play. But um, it's been all Roma so far. We haven't, we've had a shot, but nothing highlight worthy. And our pass completion is not great at all. But we have a throw in here. First time we're seeing us on the ball. Shan Emmers on the ball. Finds Petkov, who's got that pace down the left. Kenny outpaces man. He can, but he loses out. And uh, Marin with the ball now. And uh, we've won it back, Emmers, to uh, the young Seltzer. Galliano with header on. Cherry tries to get there, but doesn't. That's a mistake. Cherry scores. Well, uh, capitalising on that, Cherry with his uh, second goal of the season, and it was very much uh, a mistake by the uh, Roma defender. It was uh, Mass who completely lost the ball under his feet, I think. Cherry will never score a goal as easy. Oh, <laughs> okay. That uh, Immediately after that, next highlight, Nengolan just scored from a corner. That happened very quickly. I'll have to see that again because I pr pretty much missed it. Uh, so Nye is from the corner. Nengolan who's carrying a knock with a blistering volley. Bleve didn't know what hit him. The ball hit him. That's 2-1, and that didn't take long at all. And our defending has been uh, shocking so far. And at half-time, we're going to be 2-1 down, uh, but our passing hasn't been good enough. Let's try and... Well, we'll, we'll sort all this at half-time. There's only a few minutes left. But I think we'll have to try something a bit different at half-time. Okay, so um, I don't know about unlucky. Um... I'm going to say give the fans a performance to cheer for. That's okay, listening keenly. I'm going to have a bit of a go at the defence. I'll be calm though. I'm not going to be like assertive or anything. I'm just say I'm not too happy if you're defending. And um, we haven't really controlled... Well, we just need to control the game a bit more, I think. Uh, you weren't that bad, but I believe you can improve. And I'll say the same for the strikers. So that's for the strikers. Do we try and get the ball up there? Um, yeah, I think so. So we're going to pop the ball into the box and go a bit more direct. We're just going to sit back a bit deeper. No, we're not. We're going to keep it normal. Um, change that to fairly wide. Yeah, I think. We'll, yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave that at that. Um, so yeah, we'll just go a bit more direct. Try, try and get the ball in the area. I left it on defensive though. That's probably a mistake. Let's uh, switch it up to a counter. Salson to clear the ball there. 
That's good. And he's found uh, Galliano in space. But M is to Manala now. Here's Cherry. Now he's got support from Galliano, who has Bezotti to his right. He picks him out. And he goes for the long ball, but it wasn't great. But um, it's back with Galliano here. Now Cherry is in so much space, but he finds Bezotti. The cross wasn't great, but the attack isn't over. Manala to uh, Giraldo. Puts the ball into Cherry. That's got to be a goal. Oh, good save by uh, Zoe in goal. But we've got a corner here. We're looking very nice, actually. We're doing pretty well. We've had a couple of chances. And Polisano! That's 2-2! Two, two. And it's another goal for a defender. Andrea Polisano with his second uh, league goal. Up to 8th place. And a point against Roma here would be very good. Polisano with a brilliant header. Very nice. Um, the stacks are... The st stacks. Stands are absolutely stacked at the uh, Ennio Tardini. Don't know where all the fans are gone. But we're looking very good here. Newlands with an assist. Polisano with, an, with a goal. And this is actually a really good performance. Um, Manala's getting a bit tired. And he hasn't had the best of games either. So we are going to bring on a Rusk. Uh, we'll keep a deep line playmaker on there. In fact, so let's go for... We'll keep a deep line playmaker. But we'll make him a bit more defensive. And we'll just make that change there. Because I think Manala... He's, he's getting a bit tired out there. So I think that change should be made. I think Galliano will be on his way off uh, very shortly as well. But if we can hold them, hold them, hold them down here for a draw, that would be very good. We'll bring on Selva for the last ten minutes. Eighty-nine minutes. Last change is going to be made here. Cherry is uh, struggling, so we are going to bring on uh, Zanin for the last few minutes, just as a poacher. That's full time. Uh, so Parma two, Roma two. I think that's good. So um, I think yeah, calm team talk. Uh, you've proved a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat out there. They're happy with that. I'm happy with that. So, um, yeah, um, let's just let's crack on, I think. Very early goal for Roma had me a bit worried. And um, Cherry's equaliser was good. Nain Golan with a quick um, reply to make it 2-1. And then an equaliser from the defender, Polisano. And that's put us up to ninth at that point as well. So we're looking very good. We're looking very, very nice. Now, a couple of observations is that we're the early kickoff, so uh, no one else will have played their game, so we'll have to see what happens in the later kickoffs, see what happens in the table. And also, the general manager is Remy Gard, so hopefully, <laughs> if, we, if this is anything like uh, a Villa team, we should have an easy time of it, but we'll have to see. Um, only change I'm going to make is uh, Galliano for Selva, who's been called up to San Marino again, so he will. Uh, uh, this is an international break, so that's all right. So he won't miss any actual games. Unless he gets injured again, which uh, might well happen. It keeps happening. Uh, that's the only change I'm going to make. Because the midfield did well last time. And we defended pretty solidly. So uh, that's the only change I'm going to make. Uh, as for the bench, uh, no, that's fine. We'll leave it. Okay, submit the team. Um, in fact, no, let's just change this up. I'm going to go to control. And again, we'll leave the rest of that as it is. Submit the team. And uh, on, a result against Genova. Let's try and get an away win. We haven't had an away win yet, so uh, let's give it a go. So, uh, here we are against Genoa. Uh, I need to get that table back, actually. I keep forgetting to put it back. Let's see if we can get a good result here. As I said, an away win would be nice. We haven't won away from home yet, so this would be a good way to get one against Genoa. Uh, we've lost the ball there. Oiken Amidas is uh, on the ball. Finds a Daniel Guedes on the right-hand side. There's the cross, and, uh, wow, well, 35 seconds. That's not good. Early goals seem to be a, 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 um, a common theme this season. Second minute against uh, against Roma. 35 seconds against Genoa. Okay, um, that's right. We've got the ball now. So uh, let's just try and um, move forward here and try and get a goal straight away. That's not good, though. He's given it away to Munoz. Geraldo on the ball now, though. It finds Petkov. He's got the pace, and he outpaces number two. He left him for dead. Cross, and a goal. No, not quite. Hit the post. Cherry hit the post. Tries to go for a cross. Nope. Finds Manala. Now the uh, ball over to Petkov. Nice ball it was. And Selva! Here we are. First start for Selva. And he's put himself uh, on the board with his first goal. He must be the best San Marino player, like, ever. I mean, I know Andy Selva scored, like, eight goals for him or whatever. But Selva is... He's really good. I mean, he's only 20, what, 20, what? I think he's 22. And he's just really, really good. I think mean, he might be one of the best players that San Marino have ever had. I don't know. I don't really know what they've been doing. I know he actually scored for them in a game against, uh, I think it was against Liechtenstein or something, when he was 18. So, um, hopefully we'll see some more of him. Newland's free kick here. It's uh, blocked by uh, Mar Marcelo. And the Chepidomo finds uh, Fjeld. And here's Oiken Amidas again. And uh, good save, Bleve. We're going to do the same thing as last time. Just um, pump the ball into the box and go a bit more direct. In fact, no. Yeah. 
pump the ball into the box and go a bit more direct. I'm going to take the exploit the flanks off as well and just go fairly wide. But we're not having enough of the ball, so I don't know why we're trying to control the game when we've had 40% possession. So I've hit it up to a counter. Not a great deal of football in the first half, but we have seen, seen a couple of goals. So half time it's going to be 1 1, which is okay, I think. That's not too bad. And of course, the early goal was a shame. But uh, I'm going to say. Uh, same thing as the last time. I know we're the underdogs, but give the fans a performance to cheer for. Uh, and Newlands, I mean, you need to step it up. So we actually started with the ball in the first half kickoff. So in 35 seconds, they took the ball from us and scored. That's not good. And what else isn't good is uh, Newlands, Newlands today. It's having a stinker. Here we go. Right, throw in. Here is a cherry on the ball. Emma's in loads of space. But, um, oh, that was wasted. Dearie me. Uh, Varela to uh, Chepidomo. Here's Oiken and and um, Fiel just shoots wide. But we're not looking too bad here. Again, it'll be another point one rather than two dropped. I don't think there's a, such a thing as two points dropped in our case, unless we are literally fighting for survival during like the business end of the season. At the moment, I think it's points gained rather than points lost. No, that's full time, and it's another point, which is good. And it's away from home as well, so I think that's okay. Um, it proved a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat. So that's pretty much an identical, apart from it being 1-1 one, one and not 2-2. Two, two, identical to the last game. It was an early goal for them, once again. And then equaliser from us. And that's we're up to 8th place. 2 wins, 3 draws, 2 defeats. I think we're doing really well. I think we're doing fantastically. I mean, oh, let's see, we're from 15th. What's happened there? And AC Milan are 13th. And I mean, Napoli are 10th. They're the champions. So this is a really strange season so far. But, um, yeah, I think we're looking nice. So um, hopefully we'll keep this up. And then we'll be absolutely set. And we won't have to even have to worry about relegation. We're in the top half. So what do we have coming up? So Inter Milan at home are our next game. That's going to be tough. And then we uh, travel to Torino, who are bottom. And then we host Empoli, who are fifth. And then we uh, host Fiorentina, who are 12th. Of course, they uh, got promoted. Was it last season? I think it was last season. I think they won, yeah, they won the playoffs. Uh, so next episode... Uh, we'll be into November. So next episode, we'll have Provercelli away. We haven't seen them in a little while, actually. They've been in Serie A for a good few years. Um, so we haven't seen them since uh, 2018. So three years in the making there against uh, Provercelli. And the other game will be against Cittadella, who, of course, won Serie B last season to get it promoted. So uh, the two promoted teams facing each other in that game. That should be an interesting one. So, and, and then coming after that, uh, we'll have Bologna and then the uh, the TIM Cup will uh, be coming back. And then we've got Lazio. So I think the one after that will be Milan and Juventus. That's going to be interesting. Milan and Juventus. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Ten likes would be great. I mean, I, I think the most I've got so far is eight on a, a previous video from uh, from before I went on holiday. So, uh, yeah, just ten likes would be brilliant. If we could get double figures, that would be fantastic. Um, if you want to see videos as and when it's up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. As I said, we are close to 200 subs. That could happen in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I want to try and do a video for when that does happen, maybe a Q&A or something along those lines. So, um, yeah, just help me try and get to 200 subs. And when I do, then you get a sort of special video coming up for that. Uh, but anyway, join me in the next episode where we're going to be facing Pro Riccelli and Cittadella. So um, that will be coming up. We're looking very nice in eighth place. I think we're doing really well. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video, goodbye.